Hello friends, my name is Vineet Arora and you are watching Azure DevOps series. So in this session, we are going to cover a very important topic that is migration of repository from Azure DevOps to GitHub. Right? So this is our repository that I have already created and I will move this repository to my GitHub account. I have already logged into here GitHub account, right? And as you can see, there is no repository till yet. So I will migrate this. I have seen many people or many developer, what they do, they basically download this first, this repository on their local machine. They remove the Git files from there and then they upload it once again to the GitHub account, right? To, uh, by making the clone of the GitHub account first and then copy from their one folder to another folder. But that is not the good way. Also, that is not going to keep a history as well. So I will show you that this will also keep the history, the commits, right? Okay, so let's proceed. Uh, before proceeding, let me just request you that please don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like this video, please like it, right? Okay, so let me proceed. Here is my uh, repository account. What I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this clone button. Now I will copy this link. I will go to the GitHub and here I will click on the create repository. You can see there's one more link that is import repository. So we basically we are in need to do the import repository. We can either click here or we can, we can also go to create a repository and when and then we can click on import repository. Now I will paste here the link that I have already copied from the Azure DevOps account. Now I need to provide the repository name. So I'm going to provide the repository name here. And I'm going to make it as a public. The reason behind this public because in our next session, we are going to cover the deployment section in which we will deploy this, right? And uh, there will be situation that if you are not a developer and you are looking to have code, so you will be able to access this repository directly uh, in your Azure DevOps account and you will be able to deploy this, right? So you will not be in need to have some code from your developers or you no need to have a uh, write by your own or copy from where so you can directly copy this. You can directly link this to your Azure DevOps. Okay, let's proceed. I will click on begin import. Now what it is stating, it is stating that it is preparing our new repository and basically now what it will do it will ask for the username and password so yes you can see it is asking for the login name and password uh, the important thing is this the which exactly which login account it is asking this is asking the login account of our azure devops let me tell you it is not going to ask the login details of your username and password from where you have logged in. It is going to only access the read. It is going to only access the, it is asking only for the login and password to access this. So we need to generate that. What we will do, we will click here, generate create credentials. Now we have the login name, username, we'll paste here. We have the password, we'll click here, and then we'll click here. Now we have copied this and we have pasted it. Now I'll click on submit. Mm, same some mistake I have done. Let me copy it once again. Submit. Okay. So now it is processing. It will not take much time. Maybe in one or half minute it will be ready for us. It will give a message that it has been done. Although it is not mandatory to keep this window open, we can close this window as well as it is clearly stating that it will mail you that uh, this is ready. So you can access that. So it is uh, stating us now that importing is complete and our repository is ready. What I will do, I will go here and I will see that, oh, my code is ready here. Even now you can see that it has already imported the branches as well, right? So here, if you can see that we had the two branches, the main branch and the feature two branch, and it has already imported that. It has also 
preserving the history. So if you just click here, here the commit section, if you click here, you can see that uh, this is showing the history as well. The history that if we have already done, that means the commits, right? The changes that we have already done in our, uh, in our account. So this was the session about importing the repository. I will copy this link as well in the description section so that uh, you will be able to access it. You will be able to access this repository as well for your practical session. Thank you. Bye-bye.